Alright, I'll just mix a bit of this color. Now's my chance! While she's distracted! This apple looks so delicious! I bet it's sweet and juicy! Huh? What the heck? How is she holding an apple? Ah! Ah! She's on to me! Ah! Nothing like a little spring cleaning. When was the last time that was cleaned? Ah! Ugh, focus. Are you making crumbs? Watch it! Hey! I can't see what's happening! Julie! Look at the screen! Oh no! What are they gonna do? I can't take the suspense! Easy with that thing, dude! Gah, player 456 is totally losing! The suspense makes me so hungry! Ugh! You've been watching this for a while. When was the last time you showered? You need this. Ugh. That's a little better. You know what? Time to lighten things up a bit. One foil head coming right up. Ta-da! But we're far from done here. Use black glue to trace the head. Once that's done, try to mimic the shape with wood. Then use these strips like this. And staple everything together. Perfect! Now it should fit over the foil head. Then use black glue to make the mask. This part takes a lot of patience. One quarter done! Just after these crisscross lines, that is. Told you this would take some patience. Now onto the other side. Time's really flying now, see? Phew! Time for the white now! Is it starting to look familiar yet? If you watch Squid Game, you know exactly what this is. Creepy, right? Just one more episode… Focus! Hi there! Huh? Is that… This can't be possible! Ah! Don't hurt me! I don't wanna play! Gotcha! <gasps> That's so cool! Just talented like that, I guess. Pretty realistic, huh? It's like my little craft baby. Julie! Look! Did you make her too? I don't know who that is. Then… who is that? Ah! Run like the wind! Tonight's the big night! Whoa! Is it my pits? Ugh. This ought to deodorize me. All done. She's gonna be here any minute. It's time. In you go, little guy. She's coming! Hey! Hi! Baby, you won't believe my day! <laughs> Why don't you have some dessert? Okay, so at work today? Uh-huh. Uh-oh. She didn't swallow it, right? What? Didn't you see the ring? I put it in your dessert! <gasps> uh, that's not good! Nope. Your necklace! <laughs> what? Nothing! Hold on! See this little straightener? Wrap it with wax paper and stick beads inside. Press! Whoa, cool! Now peel it off in one piece. Then wrap it around a marker. Now it's hardened, see? Betty? What? Oh! Will you make me the happiest man and marry me? Oh! Oh! What? Huh? Abracadabra, you're drawing a… BAM! Uh, I guess we're getting crazy today. Don't mind if I do. Let's do this. I'm just gonna trace this really quick. First in here, then around the little handles. Okay, there. Nice. 
Uh, I don't know what he's doing. Now for the cutting action. Am I dexterous enough for this? Ugh. Ooh, watch the fingers. What's that? Uh, whatever. What is all this stuff? Ugh, it's getting on my artwork! Can you guess what this is yet? It lives in trees and likes to come out in the nighttime. Who? <laughs> yep, it says who, all right. It's your new little owl friend. Isn't he cute? Almost there. <laughs> it's perfect. Just needs a little bit of color. These neon hues are great. It's coming together. Hmm, interesting. And Melanie's also quite something. Way to go. Cool. But who's gonna clean up this mess? Oh, my jeans! Oh boy. Looks like Melanie takes the prize. Uh, how can this be? I need to keep reading. Mm, okay, yeah, that makes sense. I get it now. But what if I... Ow! My head! Ouch! Wow! Cool, guys, class. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, be calm. This could be a great chance for me. <sighs> Time to go inside. Oh. My. Gosh! This is so amazing! Look at all the cool people inside this classroom. They're doing tattoos over in the back corner. And that person has a guitar. So cool. <laughs> Keep going. This will be the best tattoo. Oof, that looks like it hurts. Hopefully they sterilize the needles. Oh, she looks like she could be nice. Oh, maybe not. Oh, she totally beat that guy at arm wrestling. Oh my gosh, she's actually the teacher. What? A dress code? Well, what's required of me? Let's see. Oh, piercings. A lot of piercings. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I'm not cool enough for that class. But I have all this homework I did. Hey, wait a second. The paperclip! <laughs> oh my gosh, I can totally do something with that. Alright, gonna need more than one paperclip for this. Four should be enough, I think. And now I'll need a wire cutter. I'll just put these little hoops I made on my lips and nose. Now to change up my clothes and hair. Time to introduce myself to the class again. Piercings. Yeah! I'm super in her. I need to make a move. Hey. Uh -oh. um, yeah, do that after class, please. Okay, fine. But hey, come sit in the desk next to mine. This looks so cute. Matthew will love it. Oh. Maybe not. I'll need to fix it. Great. I don't have an eraser. It's fine. There'll be one in my pencil case. Where is it? I know I have one. Hold on. Gina, can I use your eraser, please? Sure. Here you go. Oops. Hey, you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Just what I need. Matthew still has it. I'll go see him. He'll be so surprised. Phew. Matthew lives far away. At least I don't need a shower later. I should have brought a jacket. I can't wait to see him. What? You look so pretty today. I don't believe it. And with my eraser! This is the worst! Stupid Matthew! How could he? I'm never gonna give him my eraser again! What am I gonna do? Gina! Uh, how long have you been there? Use the sharpener. How? Wait a minute. I've got it! Thanks! 
I should have thought of this earlier. I'll start by flipping the sharpener over. Then I'll cover the underside of the sharpener with glue. I'll fill it all the way to the top. Now to let it set. That should do it. The glue will erase the pencil. It's working perfectly! Now to finish my drawing. Huh? I thought I could help. And I got you this. Oh, it's so cute! I'm sorry. Perfect. Liam! Snacks ready! I know oranges are your favorite. No. Not before we wash our hands. You know the rules. They're clean, okay? Hey! Hands. Sink. Fine. This is ridiculous. But if she wants clean hands, fine. I'm using lots of soap, mom. Whoa! This thing sure is slippery. Hey! I can't get a good grip on it. No! Just forget it. I'll clean, see? I'm just so hungry. Oh, stay right there. <sighs> Time to tinkle. Whoa! Oh no! <gasps> Liam! Huh? What did I do now? I nearly fell on my head. <gasps> the soap! What's it doing down here? It's like it grew legs or something. Come on, stay up there. Wait a minute. I think I have an idea. A 3D pen can help keep your soap in one place. See all these squiggles? They'll all hold onto the soap for ya. Drawing them right onto the soap makes this thing the perfect shape. But we're not done yet. Use the pen to color in this illustration. We chose a unicorn. Use different colors to make it more dynamic. Simply release the color gel with back and forth motions. And voila! A unicorn! Check out this adorable soap dish! Put it in! And if it's nice and snug, nicely done! I'm keeping my eyes on you. What's that paper for? Like this little piggy bank? Ah, got it! First, I'll start with some hearts. Then the rest all falls into place. Hmm, next drawing. I guess I should try too. Here goes nothing. Whoa! It's just a bunch of chalk dust. <laughs> I'm definitely winning this round. Just a few moral lines here. I'll use my fingers then. These'll be his eyes. See? It's a pig! But I can't forget the body. Almost finished. Hmm, Nick is alright. The color sure makes it better. Okay, just gotta add the tail. There. All done. Say hello to the winning picture. Aw, uh, I can't hold mine up. Let's see. Hmm, looking good. So much dust! Huh? Achoo! Jeez, Melanie! My bad. Ready, girls? Feast your eyes on this beauty! Look at those diamonds! Your turn! I think I can manage this. It's just a bunch of red, right? Think, Ashley, think! Jennifer's almost done! Guess I'll give it my best shot. Looks like the outline of a dress. Now for the body! 
The magic is in the details here. And now for that pop of color. See how the lines give it movement? It's like it's coming alive! Looking good! It's a winner for sure! Well, I'd better lend her a hand. Just what every dress needs! A whole lot of sparkle! Wow, so pretty! Now make a wish! Wait! My allergies! Achoo! Phew! Time's up! Go ahead, Jennifer. Isn't it pretty? Very nice! How about mine? It's truly a vision! Huh? Whoa! It's sparkling! Are you kidding me? Yes! I did it all myself! You can have it! Art brings everyone together! Wow, these ginger cookies smell amazing. There she is! Oh my gosh, she's so pretty! I love when she does that slow motion hair shake. And her glasses have such a great prescription. I'm sure she can see in 2020. <sighs> Hi, would you like some of my cookies? I would, thank you. Mmm, it's so good. Here, you should try a bite too. <sighs> yeah, that would be amazing if that happens. Where is this room? Alright, time to make my move. <sighs> I can do this. I can do this. It will be okay. Ah! Oh no! Ow, I fell down so hard! What did I land on? Oh, a cookie cutter. Oh wow, she's so beautiful. Actually, this gives me a genius idea. I'll use these two heart-shaped cookie cutters to make a heart. There we go. And now I need to fill the center. I'll use this little syringe to keep it clean and tidy. There we go. The UV light makes it dry quickly. But I need some glitter. These little hearts and stars and flowers are so pretty. And now I'll put this other one on top. Excellent. <sighs> I made this keychain for you. Oh wow, you made that for me? I love it! Mwah! You girls ready for this one? Those AirPods are ginormous! Hey! No fair! So I have to draw with this? I can hardly even hold it. This is ridiculous. I'm ready to go. It's perfect! It's time for a little sabotage. Or should I say, sopotage? Try drawing on this thing now! I'll start from the middle. That's weird. Is something wrong with the pencil? I don't know. Weird. Time's up! One more minute! I said time's up! Show me what you got. Okay. Show us yours then, Jennifer. It's fine. But I see you brought soap. Which means you're disqualified. It was you! I can't believe you did that! The nerve! At least it's clean? Guess Ashley gets the pods! Wow! I can't believe this! The sound is awesome! Hey. Hi, Brian. I, uh, I have something for you. No way! That's for me?! H how do you open it? Wait! No! My hero! That was close. Huh. Oh, I have an idea. To protect your iPhone, all you need is a glue gun. Start to apply a layer of glue around the edge of the iPhone. Be careful, making sure you avoid the camera. Let the glue drop down the side of the phone. We want to make sure the phone is safe. Then fill in the rest of the phone. Build up the glue, making sure there's a thick layer. Once the phone is covered, leave the glue to set. Trim off the excess glue and you have a unique phone case. What do you think? Ooh! It's great! 
Thank you. Brian? Oops. Okay, I'll press the button this time. I wonder what it's going to land on this time. Ooh, a tree! I didn't expect that at all! Wait, I got no hands again? Let's see what the magic gives us for this challenge. Oh, I guess we've got a bottle of ink and a… straw? Well, guess I should get started. Time for you to show off your stuff, elbows. Great job! Now let's open the bottle of ink. Yes! Okay, good thing straws are actually made for the mouth. All right, now I need to use this to get some ink, I guess. Oh, it's working! What the heck am I supposed to do with this straw? Oh no! She's drinking it! Stop! That's ink, not soda! Uh, what? Oh, phew! I thought you were drinking it! I'm drawing the only way I can. Just gotta keep blowing this ink in the direction I want it to go. Wow! That's turning out amazing! I can't believe you can do all of that with a straw in your mouth! Ugh! Why isn't this working? Maybe I just have to blow even harder into the straw. Come on! Come on, you dumb ink! Phew! Wait, what's on my face? Aw, oh, I got splattered with ink! What's she crying about over there? Ugh, she's a total mess. Wait! Huh? Stop! Why? Look! I've got this pink paint! I'll just squeeze a line of this paint out. And now for another color, too. Okay, I've got my paint lines. Now I need a cotton swab. I'll dab it in this light pink color. Now watch! I'll just dab it again, but on your black inky branches. See? It looks like flowers! Like little buds that have opened in the spring! Look at how great this is turning out! Isn't it beautiful? Wow! You really helped make my tree even more special! I'm so glad we worked on this together! Me too! It's lovely! There's still one more to go. Huh? What's that sound? I suddenly feel the urge to move. I'll let my hand do the dancing. I've never heard this song before, but I'm definitely feeling it. A treble clef, of course! This bass guitar is killing it! Wow! Whoa! Is this mine? Can hear you! How are we doing? Hmm, interesting. Nice work. Um, this is blank. <gasps> Billy, is that you? Here's my steak, dude. I'm gonna faint. Oh, I'm gonna faint. Uh, maybe this is a bad idea. Uh, are you almost finished? Yep, it's pretty much done. Great. Wait. Someone's gonna freak out when she sees this cat. Hello? Anybody home? What? Sorry, I'm freaking out! Okay, deep breaths. Thanks. Wait a minute. I think I have an idea. Get a rubber mold like this and stuff it with colorful gummy bears. I'm choosing a bunch of different hues. Put them all the way around the band. Then carefully pour epoxy resin over the bears. And fill it to the top. It's ready to wear! And isn't it just the cutest? And it covers my tattoo perfectly! All good! You're covering it? Whatever. Betty, you're home! Hi, mom! Huh? Oh, a tattoo! Oh, that one's small compared to mine. See? Whoa! You're the best! Like mother, like daughter. Hold on, dad! I need something! Oh, she didn't even notice, huh? Forgetting something? Oh, thanks! Let's go! Ugh, I can't find them anywhere! Nope, not in here! What? My keys! You lost them again? 
Let's go look. Nope. Did you look under here? Let's look under the couch. Anything? No. Hmm. Well, let's think here. I don't have them, do I? Oh, nasty. Ooh, yikes. I don't know where else to look. Wait a minute. Now hold on to these, missy. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Wait! Did I remember the keys? I can't see anything in here! Ugh! My nightstand! Oh man! Dad! Let me in! This story has taken an interesting turn. Ugh. This is hopeless. Guess I'm stuck out here. No one ever takes out the trash. Ava! I forgot my keys! Again? Oh boy. Is that all your stuff? That gives me an idea! I can use one of your puzzle pieces to ensure you never lose your keys. Once the piece is all covered, put the first letter of your name on top. All done! Now you'll never miss these. Here you go! Hey! They have an A on them! Thanks, dad! Oh! Dad made one of these too! And don't they look cute together? I have the best dad ever! Works like a charm. Stopping. Thank goodness. Yeah, that was rough. Oh no, my chessboard! It's totally ruined! I don't understand how this even could have happened! Listen, stay right there. I'll be right back. Shoot. Alright, I'm almost ready to do this. Just need to protect the space. Gloves? Ready. Time to get working. I've got my mold selections and now let me add some glitter to this mix. Okay, now I'll start to pour it in my molds. Not too much. Gotta do some more mixing now. Something redder, I think. And, of course, more glitters! Okay, good. Now to pour it in the second mold. Perfect. Just have to let them set, and I think they're done. Yep, they're coming right out. It's turning out great. I just need to make a bunch more. It's really starting to come together. But now I need a clearer mixture. This looks like a good consistency. And now to pour this into the mold. Gotta fill the whole square shape and cover the little ones I already made. And there needs to be the right amount too. Okay, all the corners are filled except this last one. Yes, it's done! Oh my gosh, look at this! It's so great! Aw, hey, don't be sad anymore. I made you a new chessboard. You made that? For me? Wow! This is so incredibly cool! Hey, you wanna play? All right, class. Our next challenge is themed illusion. Now start getting creative. Okay, I think I know how to start. Oh, yes, I wish I felt inspired. A couple lines ought to work. And then I can just connect them. It's so easy, but it looks so cool. I am so gonna win this thing. All done! That's, uh, very nice. Check out what I drew! <laughs> I'm putting just a little more thought into mine. And it's all about the lines. Once I've made a complete square, I put lines at the top and bottom, then to the right, and left. It takes a little bit of time, as you can see, but it'll all make sense at the end. When you place lines a certain way, you can create all kinds of perspectives. Just have to keep following the pattern. And a little color will help, too. See how it just comes alive? Almost like you could jump inside! Let me try. Like this? Ah! Oh no! Hey! I can see you in there! Okay, I'm all finished! And here's a little bonus for ya! What's going on in there? Howdy! I'm in here now! <gasps> Let me see this! I'm gonna get you out of here! Get out! Wait! Careful! Get out! Get out! <gasps> you did it! Wait, what? I really liked it in there! Wait, where are you going? I don't want to get stuck in there! My greatest creation! 
Hi, love what you've done with the place. Oh, I have something special for you. Oh, a pen. This is no ordinary pen. Uh, I've already got a laser pen. Drat! Okay, what about this? Looks like lipstick, but watch! Huh? <laughs> Impressive, right? Dude, I got that last year. Okay, tough customer. Hmm, let me think. Oh, I know. Can we speed this up? They show everything! Seriously? Look at them. I can't use these. What am I gonna do? I know, I have this. Place the broken glasses on a flat surface. Use the 3D pen to create a bond across the bridge of the glasses. Continue to apply plastic across the frame of the glasses. Then repeat this on the top of the frame. Once that's done, attach the leg. And use the 3D pen on it. Do this all over the leg. You would never know they were broken. Ahem. I fixed them. Pretty stylish, huh? Oh, let me try them. Well, what do you think? <gasps> Uh, you can keep them. But… Oh, I get it. Okay, are you ready, Ashley? Can I go first, please? Sure, go for it. Thanks! This is so exciting! It's the bunny! See? Are you serious? It's the cat! No! No way! It's the bunny! Stop it! You're mean! I'm only following the rules. If you want to play that way, bring it on. Let's do this. I've been training for this my whole life. Come at me. Ugh, my nose! Oh, I need to do something! That's it! I, I give up! Oh, give me that! Watch this! I'll draw some S shapes on the paper, then join them up. This is gonna be so cute! Can't forget two smiling faces! It's a bunny and a cat! But they need some color. They look so happy! It's so easy to draw this! I'm almost finished! Justin, look at this! They're hugging! Whoa! It's a cat! It's amazing! Oh, it's so adorable! Take that! Wait, what's that? Oh! It looks so cuddly! There's a tiny draft, too! This one's mine! Aww! Okay, I guess this little guy's mine. Heh, <laughs> my draft is much better. Okay, don't move. I need to draw you. So far, so good. What are you doing? I'm examining the draft. Oh, good idea. Hmm. I wonder how Justin's doing. Pretty realistic, isn't it? I'm gonna call him Jerry. It doesn't look like a draft. This is gonna be tricky. It's all about getting the right scale. Hang on. I have an idea. I'll place my hand like this and then draw around it. I'll add a face. And now it's a giraffe! Let's color it in! This brown is the perfect color. And I can color the rest yellow. Careful! I don't want to make any mistakes now. Now for the neck! That's it! I'm glad I thought of that! Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm sorry, Jerry. You can have this! Thank you! Okay, the next round! Wait, cover your eyes! Ooh, mysterious! Hehe, <laughs> I'm gonna surprise Ashley. Ugh, that's pretty gross. Ooh, and it smells awful! What's that smell? Sorry. Wait, Justin! I know what we can do! Check this out! I'll start by drawing a tree. Then some apples. Let's add some green leaves. I better stay in the lines. It's looking good! I'll add some dark green for the leaves. It just gives it texture. And of course, the trunk has to be brown. Using vertical pen strokes makes it look like wood. 
Then we'll color the apples red. They look so juicy! Ta-da! It's an apple tree! It's good, but it's not a real apple. <gasps> Justin, look! Whoa! That's so cool! Mmm, that's so tasty! Try one! I think I will! Think you could draw pizza? One, two, go! Oh, close! I'll solve this with a spin of the wheel. Who was that? Oh, that was so weird. Oh, look at the wheel! What? Oh, wow! This might be tricky. Mmm, stop! What? Let's make it interesting. One, two, three, go! This is tense. Oh no! My pencil! It's okay, I have another. This isn't going well. Oh, come on! Huh? Oh, unlucky. I don't have time for this! <sighs> this is taking too long! Uh, I need to hurry! Time's almost up! Ugh! Get out of here! Hey, keep your garbage away from my art! Although, this might be useful. I'll start by drawing a ballerina. This'll look great! She looks so graceful. And I'll use the pencil shavings as the tutu. I'm really happy with this. Hey, Ashley. What do you think? Mm, I wasted so much time. But I can still finish my drawing. Just give me a moment. Ugh, careful. Okay, that's it. What do you think? It's good, isn't it? Great job! Look at the timer! We did it! Put it there. Well done! <laughs> it's been a slow day so far. Ahem! I'm here for a cut in style. Oh yes! I'm happy to help you! Please take a seat over here. Thank you, I will. How's the weather inside? Is it still hot? Okay, now how can I help you today? I just need a little off the ends. Remove the split ends and lift it up a bit. Of course, of course. I can definitely do that for you. I'll just need to adjust your chair. A little more. Just some more. A bit more. All right, I'm ready to get started. You have beautiful hair. I can tell you take good care of it. I seem to have encountered a snarl. What's going on back there? Why did you stop? <laughs> no worries, don't worry at all. Everything is under control. <gasps> oh my gosh, the dome totally broke in half! Um, what's with that look on your face? Oh, it's nothing, just a little gas. <laughs> what am I gonna do? That was my best comb! Wait, of course, my trusty 3D pen. That'll fix my problem. I've got a picture of a comb, so now I just need to trace it. I'll just fill it in with my favorite pink 3D ink. Okay, this is working well so far. There we go, the front half of the comb. And now to start with the handle. I'll use this pretty light green. It's such a pretty color. I don't get to use it that much. And since I'm making a new comb, I might as well make it prettier too. When I'm done with this part, I'll make some flowers too. Okay, almost done. And voila! A new comb. Oh, she fell asleep. Guess I better hurry up and finish. Back to combing her hair. Oh, sorry. I must have dozed off there for a moment. Ever seen a unicorn up close? We have now! <laughs> this is only inspiration! Where's my pen? How are we supposed to draw? Gotta think outside of the box! The art box, that is! Let's bust this thing wide open! Yep, now we're talking. Wow! Can I use those too? Oh, fine. We are besties after all, right? Here. What do I do with white? It 
doesn't even show up here! Not my problem, is it? Aw, oh, man! What do I do now? Should I help? Here! Where did those all come from? Gotcha, girl! Now I really can't get started! Wait, I got it! I'll start with a super secret design! You can't even see it! Not yet, anyway. The paint doesn't go over it! So the more I paint, the more my secret drawing is revealed! Ta-da! It's a unicorn, see? But you can draw all kinds of things! The possibilities are endless! Utensils down! You like it? It's almost there! But Ashley's… Wow! How is that possible? I gave her a white crayon! Wow, that's really stuck up there! That looks chewy! Uh-oh! Hi. Take a seat, Ellie. Oh. Okay. Don't look at me. She seems friendly. This color suits me. Uh, achoo! Okay, class. Open up your books. Do I have to? We have a very exciting lesson today. Yeah, right. I love her notebooks! I suppose I better take some notes. I know. My pen is super cute. I wish I had nice things! All my things are so boring! It's not fair! What's going on back there? Hold on. What's the problem? I have pen envy. Let me see that. That's one fancy pen. Maybe I can help. Really? Upgrade your pens with a simple trick. Remove the parts from the pen. Then fill the casing with glue. Try not to make a mess at this stage. That should do it. Now pour in some glitter. Put the ink back into the casing. And screw on the nib. No more boring pens! Looks good, huh? Wow! Look at that! I can't forget about this cute little guy. Oh, he's so adorable. Thanks! Hmm. Wait there. Now I feel more comfortable. Wow! You're so stylish! I'll take those. These won't do. You need a makeover. I feel so alive! How… how did you do that? Who cares? I love it! You're my favorite teacher! Just doing my job! I feel amazing! What? Wow! I love your new look! Oh, I have something to give you! Really? For me? Thanks, bestie! I love this class. Oh, I need to change. Ahem. So, today's lesson. Thanks for vacuuming, Mr. Broccoli. <gasps> huh? What? Oh, I was dreaming. Hmm, I wonder what time it is. I'd better check my phone. <gasps> my phone! No! Ah! It hit the floor so hard! No, no, no! It's broken! Oh my gosh, this is the worst! Ah! I'm in a nightmare! <sighs> what happened? Where am I? Right, my phone. Hey! I'm down here where I fell, remember? Hi! Ah! A nightmare! Ah! Oh my gosh! <sighs> it was another nightmare! Sheesh! Wait! My phone! Phew! My phone is back where it belongs and not on the floor! But now I'm all freaked out. I can't let that really happen. I know what I can use. I can bring out my 3D pen and figure something out. I'll use this purple ink since I like it and start coloring the phone case. I'll just make a little zigzag across the top here, then go back across. And now for another zigzag back across. I just really need to fill this space with a lot of 3D ink. Okay, now that I've done the top, I'll do the sides too. 
I want to make sure that this is well covered, too. There! I totally covered the whole phone case! Ah! I dropped it! <laughs> no worries! I didn't break at all! <laughs> oh my gosh! I was so worried! But my new case totally worked! Alright, I'm going back to sleep. Okay, are you ready, Ashley? Can I go first, please? Sure, go for it. Thanks! This is so exciting! It's the bunny! See? Are you serious? It's the cat! No! No way! It's the bunny! Stop it! You're mean! I'm only following the rules. If you want to play that way, bring it on. Let's do this. I've been training for this my whole life. Come at me. Ugh, my nose! Oh, I need to do something! That's it! I, I give up! Oh, give me that! Watch this! I'll draw some S shapes on the paper, then join them up. This is gonna be so cute! Can't forget two smiling faces! It's a bunny and a cat! But they need some color. They look so happy! It's so easy to draw this! I'm almost finished! Justin, look at this! They're hugging! Whoa! It's a cat! It's amazing! Aw, it's so adorable! Alright, let's go! Oh wait, after you, of course. Wait, we'll go together. Time to see what the wheel is gonna pick! Ooh! A smiley emoji! Oh, really? Yes! I get to use one hand, and you get to use zero! Ha! Now let's see what the magic gets us. Wait, squeeze bottles? You know what, Sky? Let's get some aprons for this challenge. Okay, now we're ready to do this one! Maybe I can make the wheel change to something else. Come on, come on, come on! Please! Oh my gosh! It totally worked! I can't believe it! And now I get to do an ice cream instead. Okay, that circle works. And now I better start with some eyes. He needs some eyebrows too, I think. Okay, that should be enough for this one. On to blue! I'll draw these tears and then fill them in with the blue. <sighs> this is working okay, I think. There goes all the batter. It's starting to work. Now onto the red. Just gotta give it a squeeze. Just gotta get it along the blue like this. Not bad, all things considered. All right, onto the yellow. Can't have a smiley without yellow. I've just gotta fill in all the space with this color now. Gotta make sure each little area has color in it. Just a little bit more. And there! Time to flip it! Oh my gosh! Look at how good this is turning out! Oh no. I got a tickle in my nose. This is bad. I go! Oh no! So that came right off! Oh! It made a huge crash! Oh. Yeah, that's a rough turn, Sky. Sorry. Whatever. It's fine. I guess I'm done now. Well, here. Maybe I can use the spatula to help you out a bit. I'll just push it a little over here. It's not like I can get any worse, I guess. There, see? That's better, right? Yeah, it is! <sighs> Thanks, I guess. Yeesh, she's so grumpy right now. But hey, take a look at how mine turned out. Isn't it cute? Okay, I'll press the button this time. I wonder what it's going to land on this time. Ooh, a tree! I didn't expect that at all! Wait, I got no hands again? Let's see what the magic gives us for this challenge. Oh, I guess we've got a bottle of ink and a… straw? Well, guess I should get started. Time for you to show off your stuff, elbows! Great job! Now let's open the bottle of ink. Yes! Okay, good thing straws are actually made for the mouth. All right, now I need to use this to get some ink, I guess. Oh, it's working! What the heck am I supposed to do with this straw? Oh no! She's drinking it! Stop! That's ink, not soda! Uh, what? Oh, phew! I thought you were drinking it! I'm drawing the only way I can. Just gotta keep blowing this ink in the direction I wanted to go. Wow! That's turning out amazing! I can't believe you can do all of that with a straw in your mouth! Ugh! Why is 
isn't this working? Maybe I just have to blow even harder into the straw. Come on! Come on, you dumb ink! Phew! Wait, what's on my face? Aw, I got splattered with ink! What's she crying about over there? Ugh, she's a total mess. Wait! Huh? Stop! Why? Look! I've got this pink paint! I'll just squeeze a line of this paint out. And now for another color, too. Okay, I've got my paint lines. Now I need a cotton swab. I'll dab it in this light pink color. Now watch! I'll just dab it again, but on your black inky branches. See? It looks like flowers! Like little buds that have opened in the spring! Look at how great this is turning out! Isn't it beautiful? Wow! You really helped make my tree even more special! I'm so glad we worked on this together! Me too! It's lovely! Hmm. My crush has me feeling inspired. I sure hope he appreciates this. Here goes nothing! Uh, what's up, David? Nice. What'd she write to me? Yep, I've got some feelings about this. <laughs> Be still, my heart. Let's see here. Gah! My books! Sorry. Let me help you with those. Oh. So soft. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, my books? Oh, right. So… Yeah. Thank you. I think I'm in love. Wait. Just one last look. Yep. This guy is really something. Ah. Uh, oh, that's what I'll say. Nothing like reminding your sweetie about the moment you first laid eyes on each other. The hard part's over. Nice. Wow. I remember! Such a sweetheart. Love you, baby. Prepping for your art project is all part of the process. A messy one at that. Anyway, time to turn this idea into art. First stroke is always the best. Add a little bit of blue here. It's really coming together. Or is it? This is terrible! Nope. Good thing I have lots more paper. Ooh, smooth. This is worse than the first one! Ugh! Come on now, focus! You've gotta be kidding me. Why can't I paint a stupid flower? All right. Stay calm. Deep breath in. I can do this. I am fully capable. It's go time. Easy. Easy. Shoo! Huh? That was unfortunate. But wait a minute. What an interesting shape! I can work with this. Using your paintbrush in different ways can help you create entirely unique designs. And in my case, petals! Once you've gone all the way around, add some green for the leaves and stems. See how it's all coming together? Careful strokes go a long way. You can even attach these two. It fills out the space quite nicely. I knew I could do it! Whoa! You drew all this on your own? Why don't you have it, Annie? I've got more creating to do. And this time, I'm taking a whole new approach. But don't worry, we're still staying on theme here. See how these strokes make the leaves really come alive? Don't be afraid to take your time with these. You can even make grass, see? But the next part gets a little more complicated. I can use some puffy paints like these to create all new fun textures with a balloon! How satisfying was that? Now use it like a stamp. 
and you'll get these fun, totally unique flowers. Don't forget this one. Cool, right? Awesome! What do you think? <gasps> David! How did you even come up with that? My secret ingredient! Aw, this picture sure is cheery. Good enough to be framed. And why stop there? Just need some inspo. Mm-hmm. Right. You said what? Oh, Susan, you're bad! Ugh, I don't know. Um, excuse me? My paper! Oh! My bad. Oops. Look what you've done! It's ruined! Hey! Can I show you something? Ever hear of a happy accident? This is one of them. Oh. Me? Yeah! You can do different sizes, too! Amazing! Let's do it! How many do you think can fit on here? As many as you want! Things are getting crazy! You can use pretty much anything. As long as it's circular, of course. You think we've done enough yet? It sure looks cool, doesn't it? Up high! My little artist! After school means craft time! Just look at this thing go! Good thing I have a lot of this stuff. Oh yeah, make it rain, baby! Hmm. I think that looks pretty good. Ugh. She's always so messy. But at least I've learned to come prepared. I've gotta protect the moneymaker somehow. Here comes the stamp brush. Am I good or am I good? Now how can I make this more interesting? Hope you like paint, little buddy! Woohoo! Oh no! Uh-oh. You're in big trouble, missy! Now give me that dirty bear. Uh-oh. I'm gonna make this a little better. But first I need a couple of props. Recognize this? I'll need a pretty sizable amount. Along with a bear, you don't mind getting dirty. Aw, you like that, Mr. Bear? Things are really getting messy over here. It's just the cutest stamp ever, right? But we just have to add a couple little details. And who doesn't love some flowers? Once it's all covered, stamp it! What a fun design! I guess I made the best out of a bad situation. Wow! Let me try that! Anything? Come on! There! This is actually pretty fun! Is there anything more classic than still life? I mean, how hard could it be? This poppet was fun! Okay. How do I get the apple to shine? Not a bad start, right? I wanna do this forever. Actually, nah. Move out of my way! I bet I can figure this out. I'm so bored. What's she doing over there? Painting a bunch of fruit? Now it's coming together. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Huh? Wait, something's missing here. What the? I'll just start over, I guess. When will she be done? Hello, apple! Okay. Did that apple move? How am I supposed to work like this? <laughs> this is fun! Okay, this time it'll be great. Excuse me? I don't understand this. Hello? There's gotta be an explanation. Hey! I should've known it was you! Get back here! Now get back here! You're not going anywhere! At least not until I'm done painting. Okay, last one! <sighs> now I can finally paint in peace. Now, where was I? Um, hello? How long am I gonna be up here? Let me go! You deserve it. <gasps> yes! I don't know why I didn't think of this before. I can just trace the fruit's shadow. This takes out all the annoying guesswork. And I can put all of my focus into the strokes. 
It's pear time! This shape can get super tricky. Wow, I'm really zooming through these. Last one's almost done. Just gonna fill in the background a bit. Can't forget to sign it, either. It could be worth something one day. All done! No thanks to you, sis. <laughs> yes! My hands are free! But wait… Oh no! Ah! I'm okay! All right, class. Our next challenge is themed illusion. Now start getting creative. Okay, I think I know how to start. Oh, yes, I wish I felt inspired. A couple lines ought to work. And then I can just connect them. It's so easy, but it looks so cool. I am so gonna win this thing. All done! That's, uh, very nice. Check out what I drew! <laughs> I'm putting just a little more thought into mine. And it's all about the lines. Once I've made a complete square, I put lines at the top and bottom. Then to the right. And left. It takes a little bit of time, as you can see. But it'll all make sense at the end. When you place lines a certain way, you can create all kinds of perspectives. Just have to keep following the pattern. And a little color will help, too. See how it just comes alive? Almost like you could jump inside! Let me try. Like this? Ah! Oh no! Hey! I can see you in there! Okay, I'm all finished! And here's a little bonus for ya! What's going on in there? Howdy! I'm in here now! <gasps> Let me see this! I'm gonna get you out of here! Get out! Wait! Careful! Get out! Get out! <gasps> you did it! Wait, what? I really liked it in there! Wait, where are you going? I don't wanna get stuck in there! This looks so cute! Matthew will love it! Oh… Maybe not. I'll need to fix it. Great. I don't have an eraser. It's fine. There'll be one in my pencil case. Where is it? I know I have one. Hold on. Gina, can I use your eraser, please? Sure. Here you go. Oops. Hey, you. Thanks. I appreciate it. Just what I need. Matthew still has it! I'll go see him. He'll be so surprised. Phew. Matthew lives far away. At least I don't need a shower later. I should've brought a jacket. I can't wait to see him. What? You look so pretty today. I don't believe it! And with my eraser! This is the worst! Stupid Matthew! How could he? I'm never gonna give him my eraser again! What am I gonna do? Gina! Uh, how long have you been there? Use the sharpener. How? Wait a minute. I've got it! Thanks! I should have thought of this earlier. I'll start by flipping the sharpener over. Then I'll cover the underside of the sharpener with glue. I'll fill it all the way to the top. Now to let it set. That should do it. The glue will erase the pencil. It's working perfectly! Now to finish my drawing. Huh? I thought I could help. And I got you this. Oh, it's so cute! I'm sorry. Who knew science was so interesting? Oh, a message. Oh no! I forgot Gina's birthday! I need to get her a gift! There must be something around here that I can use. That's a start! Now I just need to find a gift. Whoa! Ouch! Hey! I can use that ribbon! That's gonna hurt later. Okay, time to get creative. This is going well. There! It looks amazing! But what can I put in it? A doll? Hmm. Aw, another doll! Just what I need. Nope. Flowers. That's a good idea. They're beautiful! Uh, where did those bees come from? Uh, 
I got stung! Uh, I can't risk it. Now this is a good idea. Are you kidding me? No way! Ugh. Come on, think! Oh, I know! I can make her a journal! Start with an ordinary notebook. Open the back cover. And start to apply a thin line of glue along the edge. Do this along the side and the bottom of the page. Next, you'll need a length of pink ribbon. Stick the ribbon to the glue. Repeat this with more lengths of pink ribbon along the bottom of the page. Once you've done that, you'll need some green ribbon. Stick the strips of green ribbon along the side of the page. Don't leave any gaps. Keep it side by side. Now close the notebook over. Fold the pink ribbon over the notebook. Then thread the green ribbon over and under the pink ribbon. Continue this all the way up the notebook with each strand of ribbon. You'll create a lattice effect. Open the notebook back up and run a strip of glue along the top of the page. Fold the excess ribbon over the cover and stick it to the glue. Make sure it's pressed down firmly. Apply glue along the edge again, over the top of the ribbons. Remember to only put it on the three edges. Now put a sheet of card over the glue. Give it a press to make sure it's stuck in place. There! A homemade journal! I hope Gina likes it. I'm ready for Gina's birthday! I got you something! Wow! <sighs> Shredded paper! Thanks! Seriously? Look in the box. Oh, right! Thank you! You're the best! I know. Alright, here we go for the next challenge! Oh, it's a bunch of paint with makeup blenders! They're so squishy. Hmm, maybe I should check my makeup. Ooh, I could definitely use some touching up. Yeah, me too, Sky. Oh look! The wheel! Look! It stopped on the beauty blender! Yay! And we've got these long canvases to work on! All right, those are ready to go. Now for the hands! Oh man! No hands for either of us this time! Time for paint! Ow! My head! Ouch! Okay, we gotta be more careful. All right, I've got some yellow on my blender. And now I'll dab it onto my canvas and try to get a straight line. I think I'll start with this light blue. And now to start painting onto this end of my canvas. Now I need to add some orange to the yellow I've already put down. Time for some light pink now. I'll put it on this side of the blue. I'm gonna need this pretty sea green color. This is kind of fun, right, Lexi? Okay, back to work. I need some of that green right in this area. I gotta keep blending these pinks together. Yes! My ombre effect totally worked out great! Wow, it's so beautiful! And serene, too! Phew! I'm finished, too! That was a lot of work. Whoa! That's way different than what I made. Wow. Well, did you see what I did? Lexi? Look at mine! Yeah, yeah, it's great, Sky. I just… Whoa! H how did you even do all of that? Yeah, thanks. It totally turned out just like I pictured in my head. Well, now I don't know how I feel about mine. Listen, don't be sad. We can zazz yours up. We'll use this daisy. We'll just put it face down on your canvas. And now we'll get some white paint on the beauty blender. Time to put some of this white paint on the edges of the petals. Oh, wow! Let's do another one up here. Wow, Sky, You made it even better! I love mine now! Look at the patterns the petals made! They're so pretty! You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. You press the button this time, Sky. Okay, there's the wheel. Let's see what we get for this challenge. Yee! <laughs> a unicorn! Aren't you totally excited? Whoa, this is a new one. You've got to wear a blindfold, Lexi. Well, if I'm gonna be blindfolded, I'm at least gonna be a unicorn, too. Yes! We're decorating unicorn-shaped cookies! How fun! Ooh, aprons again. Okay, well, I guess I better pull down my blindfold now. Sky, where'd you go? Are you over here? What's that over there? Yes! There's her cookie! I'm gonna take it! And time for a snack! Lexi, I really don't think there's anything over there to see. Wait a second. What happened to my cookie? It's gone! It's missing? Where did it go? I couldn't see a thing, of course. Yeah, I guess it's a mystery. I'll just get a new cookie. But I'm gonna keep my eye on Lexi. All right, we better start decorating these cookies! <sighs> okay, Lexi, I'll help you out to start. This is your white frosting. Thanks, guy. I'd better get started. I think this will be hard. I'm gonna start by outlining the cookie shape. There we go. And now I can start filling it in with more white. Okay, I think this is going well. I bet it looks great! 
Wow, this is really turning out lovely, I think. Just a bit more and done. All of the cookie is covered. Now I'm gonna use this paintbrush and some gold frosting paint. I'll put some down on the bottom and also up here on the ears. Okay, I can't forget the horn either. Now I need to add some eyes for my unicorn. I need to use some of this red frosting now. She needs little heart-shaped nostrils. So cute! I think I'm pretty good at this, actually. Okay, I need this color. What color is it? I don't know. But my unicorn needs eyes! And then color change again. Gotta do the nostrils so he can breathe. Very important. <laughs> I just know this is turning out amazing! Yay! I'm done! How about you, Sky? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! This is not what I expected at all! Well, I was blindfolded, so it is what it is, I guess. I just want to give his nose a little smooch. He is cute, and you're right! Smooches forever! At least I've got my own horn. Huh, we've got a piece of paper. Oh, something's happening! Here comes the magic again! Look, it's an ice cream cone! How cute! It looks pretty tasty, too. I wish I had a real ice cream cone. Ooh, no kidding! Hey, let me see that over here. This'll be a fun one. Aw, no hands again? That's a huge bummer. Okay, I've got my one hand and a paintbrush. Ready to dab it into the paint. I think I'll start with red. Mm, gonna paint this ice cream. Gonna have a good time. I'm just adding different colors and dots on my picture. I've got red, yellow, blue, and mostly white. And now I'm gonna add some water and let them blend together. Mm, look at her doing all the painting over there. I better get started. Guess there's nothing to do but use my mouth. I could totally do this like this! Okay, just gotta start adding some dots on this paper. I need some of this color now, too. Maybe I'll add some of this color here. <gasps> oh no! This is just turning out terribly! Well, I guess this is what I came up with. Ta-da! At least it's colorful. I've got that going for me anyway. I'm done with my ice cream cone, too. See? The blending technique I used turned out great! I love it! Whoa! It turned into a real ice cream! Just like we were hoping it would! Looks so much like the ice cream cone I painted, too! Time to give this a taste. I hope it's good. It is. It's very good. I bet you're wishing you had an ice cream cone, too. What do you think we're gonna get this time? It's so exciting! Oh my gosh! Look! It's a cute little frog! Look at him just hopping around, doing his little ribbits! Well, I'm definitely ready to make some artwork featuring a frog. Wow! Me too! I love frogs and toads. Let me get my paper ready. Yes! Two hands this time! And you get one again! Looks like I'm gonna use this fine tip marker for this one. I'm gonna start by making two halves of hearts like this. I'll connect them underneath like this. And then above with an arc. Look at his cute little fingers! So adorable! I drew his eyes, so now I need to start coloring him in. I've gotta use green, of course. He's a respectable frog. I get to use both hands, and I'm gonna! I should be able to get it done twice as fast because, well, two hands. It's turning out great! This is a fantastic strategy! She was right about the little fingers and toes. Those are definitely the cutest. All right, the outline is complete. Time to start coloring him in. This is definitely going nice and fast. Though it's maybe not as delicate. Gotta go faster! Whoa! I've got smoke over here! Ah! <laughs> what the heck? How did you start a fire over there? Yikes! Well, I guess I'm done with my froggy picture. <laughs> I was just coloring too fast, it seems. <laughs> well, my frog picture didn't catch fire, and here it is. Isn't it cute? Oh, what's that? It's a gummy frog! It must have come from my amazing picture! Time to shake the picture! Shake, 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 shake! <laughs> wow, that's a lot of gummy frogs! Oh my gosh, it smells so good! Like melon! I'm gonna take a bite of this one. I can't wait any longer. Wow, it's great. I just really love gummy foods. Whoa, what the heck are you doing? Shouldn't you slow down? No! Oh, I love them too much to slow down! Huh? It sure is dark in here. I'm so scared. What is that thing over there? Get out of my room, please! Help! What's going on in here? A big scary monster! You woke me up for this? A coat rack? Oh, I guess it was just in my mind. Good night! Sorry. It sure is dark. Just a coat rack, right? I'll be fine. What? Ah! It's back! 
What? Over there? Ugh. <laughs> I don't see anything in here. I know how to stop this once and for all. Start by blacking out the entire canvas. Once you've done that, use a stamp brush to put a bit of white down. Then use black to create a tree. The goal is to make a bunch of them. Then use white to make a sky full of stars. Then get a blade and pierce the canvas. Just make a bunch of random holes. Then push little lights through them. This ought to keep you safe. Wow! Now you have nothing to be afraid of. Lights off! Huh? What is that thing? Ah! A monster? Oh, okay, stop teasing me already. I feel so much better now. Monster freeze the way to be! Okay, guys, it's picnic time! Just eat your pretend food. Ugh, I'm bored. Ooh, sissy's phone! Uh, but I can't open the thing. I know. All I need is her face. Easy. Don't wake up. Face, please! I won't work without her eyeballs. This tape seems pretty strong. Just gotta open those lids without her waking up. Can't forget about the other one. Hey, <laughs> there they are. Time to unlock this bad boy once and for all. Anything? Uh, still not working, huh? If only your face looked more natural. Come on, close! What's wrong with that thing? Now stay shut, will ya? Just stop moving! Okay, this definitely isn't working. Wait a minute. I can use this clear piece of paper. Just gonna rest it on her face. And trace over her entire face. The phone recognizes the general shapes of the face, after all. Hey, at least she's staying still. Just gotta get the jawline right. Perfection! A masterpiece! Ugh! Can I help you? Why does this look so familiar? <sighs> if you really want to draw a face, use a photo! Ah! I'll show you how to do this right. First, you have to assemble your writing utensils. Make something that looks like an H. See? It's ready. Begin tracing the face like so. And the other side will draw the same thing. It just follows the movement. See? It's totally effortless. No fancy art training necessary. Looks pretty accurate, doesn't it? Like looking in the mirror. Hey! It worked! See ya! Whatever you do, don't read my text! Or look through my camera roll! Okay, this spot looks substantial. Yeah? The trees, nature, what have you. The heat is on! You bet! I don't know… What? Hey, stop looking at mine! Whatever, fine. I'll be over here then. What can I paint? Bingo! He's adorable! I hope David didn't see him. I saw it first! Uh-huh. May the best bird painter win! A few skillful circles can go a long way. Just have to know where to add the lines. Nice, right? But some color will really make it pop. Yellow is such a happy color, isn't it? It's perfect for such a cheerful guy. And how about some green? Such a peaceful hue. And add some blue for a real treat for the eyes. Doing the edges first is always best. It really rounds things out, doesn't it? Almost done. Just a couple of finishing touches. And that's how it's done, folks! A true masterpiece! Don't you agree? Yep, I'm pretty pleased. What is that? I just needed an extra hand! Turns out, a hand is all you really need. Well, that and a few strategically placed dots and lines. Can you see the bird face yet? Don't worry, it'll all come together soon. These branches ought to give it away.
And here are its cute little feet. A little greenery? I think it's quite peaceful. Can you see the bird now? I'm just so creative, aren't I? Well, if you really want to see it… Not too shabby. Oh. I guess they're both pretty great. Should we ask the teacher? Seriously? I hope he's okay. Seems like he's just fast asleep. Hey! Ooh. All done, huh? Oh, great job. Now just give me, uh, five more minutes. Alrighty then. I need something that'll turn some heads. And I know just the thing. Complimentary hues for the win! But it's still missing something. But what? Ugh, this ball is so dinky. Whoa! That thing's blowing my mind! Mom! Oh, not now. Okay. You still have a lot of pain left. Which leaves room for me to play. Thank you! I just don't know what to do. Okay, I'll try a little. Hey! Where did my paint palette go? David? Is that you? Excuse me? Look! I did this! I call it pond water. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. You want to face paint? Give it a try, David. Whoa! Again! Fun, right? You can say that again! Yeah? What if I use my finger, too? Incoming! Ha! Oh. Blue dots coming in, people! But now for my favorite color! Woohoo! That's it! Look, mom! Well, isn't this incredible? But let's try one more trick. Symmetry can sure be beautiful. And to prove that to be true, you created it all on your own. It's a gorgeous butterfly! This line will really make it come to life. Along with the outline of the wings. Other side. There. Just admire this pure beauty. And that's just the beginning, son. This is fun. Okay, roll them. Aw, I lost. Woohoo! It's my turn to spin. I wonder what we'll get. Ooh, a surprise! Whoa! There's so many things to choose from! Oh, I thought it was candy. What is it? You use it to draw. Ah, got you! Like this? It's fun! What do you think? Uh, okay. Use it like this. It'll make a spiral. All you have to do is move the pen. The circles do the rest. I could do this all day. It looks so cool. Okay, let's try a different color. See? It's creating a different pattern. I don't need these anymore. Now that looks good. Whoa! It's so hypnotic. Ashley? Are you okay? Yoo-hoo! Hey, snap out of it! I know! This might be loud! Ugh. This has to work! Seriously? I'm all out of ideas. Oh. This feather might be handy. Wakey wakey! But you! What happened? Oh yeah, my pretty circles! Uh, they look great. Can I spin the wheel? No, it's my turn. 
Aw, go on. Settle it without that more? Let's go. This could take a while. Stop! Why don't we both spin it? Good idea! Oh! Sup? This is gonna be epic! Wait, where are we? Maybe we should go. Wow! My first tattoo! Whoa! You're eager! Let's do this! Are you crazy? This is gonna look sick! <laughs> it tickles! Wow! Look at that! That's some of my best work. Uh, that's different. I love it! Keep that away from me! Mommy, save me! Your turn, bro. No way! I'll just use this printout instead. I'll cut the butterfly out of the paper. Then I'll put it face down on my wrist. I need some aftershave to wet it. Now I'll press it against my skin. A pain-free tattoo. It suits me, wow! Ah, uh, no. I feel so pretty! My nails look amazing! Hmm, getting the right skill is tricky. But it's fun. Yeah, sure. What is that? It's my ship. Whatever. Let me focus on my nails. That's fine. I need to finish this. Oh no! My pencil! And I don't have a sharpener. Oh, what'll I do now? What's wrong? My pencil snapped and I can't sharpen it. Uh, take this! Oh, okay. How does that feel? No! Use it on your pencil! Oh, right. I see. I'll run the pencil over the nail file. It's working! Look! Now I can finish my drawing! I told you! I have an idea. I'll draw you! Wait, I've been working on some poses. <clears throat> How's that? Uh, awful. Oh, I know! Go over there! Okay. Ready? That's more like it. I feel so glamorous. Put your hand on your head. Like this? That's it. Wonderful. How much longer? Hey! Ugh. I'm awake! What do you think? Uh, yeah. Good effort. This is my best work yet. Wow, that's really stuck up there. That looks chewy. Uh-oh! Hi. Take a seat, Ellie. Oh, okay. Don't look at me. She seems friendly. This color suits me. Uh, achoo! Okay, class. Open up your books. Do I have to? We have a very exciting lesson today. Yeah, right. I love her notebooks! I suppose I better take some notes. I know. My pen is super cute. I wish I had nice things. All my things are so boring. <laughs> it's not fair! What's going on back there? Hold on. What's the problem? I have pen envy. Let me see that. That's one fancy pen. Maybe I can help. Really? Upgrade your pens with this simple trick. Remove the parts from the pen. Then fill the casing with glue. Try not to make a mess at this stage. That should do it. Now pour in some glitter. Put the ink back into the casing. And screw on the nib. No more boring pens. Looks good, huh? Wow! Look at that! I can't forget about this cute little guy. 
Aw, he's so adorable. Thanks! Hmm. Wait there. Now I feel more comfortable. Wow, you're so stylish! I'll take those. These won't do. You need a makeover. I feel so alive. How… how did you do that? Who cares? I love it! You're my favorite teacher! Just doing my job. I feel amazing! What? Wow! I love your new look! Oh, I have something to give you! Really? For me? Thanks! Best day! Selfie! I love this class. Oh, I need to change. Ahem. So, today's lesson. Well, I guess this is where we are now. So, let's see what's up. Hey, how are you? We haven't talked in forever. <sighs> Might as well work on my manicure, I guess. Huh? Finally! Something's happening! Look at that light! Something alien and UFO-y is going on. Exciting! This is so cool. I can't wait to see what happens next. Wait, I got stuck with no hands? Come on, that's not fair. I got one hand, and I'm totally okay with that. Time to start drawing my little alien guy. There's his head. Now to work on his body. Can't be a little alien dude without any arms. Two, of course. And then down to his little sticky legs. Now to add some details. He needs to have his typical big black eyes. And a little nose and mouth, too. Now to get him up and moving. Ugh, she totally makes it look so easy with her one hand she can use. Oh my gosh, it's an actual alien right here next to me! He's doing something with my plate and a marker. Hmm, let's see what he did. Looks like he tried to draw an alien. Hey, Mr. Alien Dude! Check out what I did on my plate! See? I can make him dance when the water moves. Man, he's got some great moves if I say so myself. Do you love it? I bet you totally love it. Yes! He loves it! Whoa! Look at that amazing space cake! Wow! He's putting it by me! I guess I get it! Here, you can have this! This might be the best cake I've ever seen! Uh-huh. She gets a cake and I get what? Nothing, I guess. Other than just this alien scribble on my plate. Hey! What about my plate? Don't you want this one too? Maybe in exchange for a cake? No? What the heck? You're the one who drew it! Can't believe this. Mmm. This looks great. I'm going in for a bite. How? Oh, mmm. That is one delicious space cake. I'm definitely glad that I won this one. These candies are my favorite. So fruity. The tropical flavors are definitely the better ones, I think. Wait a second. I have an idea. Let me pour some of these out of the bag. They're so colorful and pretty, too. I really love the pink. And now for some organization. I'll start with these blue ones. And here comes the pink. All right. They're all organized and ready for some magic. Yes! It worked! It turned into a poppet just like I hoped it would. Time for me to get poppin'. Hey! What the heck? And what are you doing? We're supposed to be doing art. Oh, right. I forgot. Just got distracted by the poppet, I guess. Yes! I get to use hands this time! And both of them, too! <laughs> Now's my chance. Don't mind if I play with this a bit. Actually, I'm gonna use it for my artwork. I'll start with this paint. Okay, I'll just paint the insides of the poppet with this brush. I'm very excited to see how this turns out in the end. All right, now to do the same with the orange row of the poppet. Okay, that's done. Now let's give this a try. I'll have to flip over this poppet onto my paper. Now to start popping. Red, red, maybe this blue over here. Man, look at her using both hands like she's allowed to do. Wait, I know what I'm gonna do. Come on, nose. You're gonna function as my paintbrush. Ooh, the paint is kinda chilly. Time to add some dots of paint to my paper with my nose. This is going well. Time to switch colors. Look! I made my poppet shapes with my nose! Yay! I made mine, too. It's pretty great, not gonna lie. Look at how perfect my dots are. Definitely better than yours. Whoa! The magic's back! Poppet cookies! Don't mind if I do. Oh. Mmm. Oh, wow. This is so, so tasty. It definitely looks pretty good. I'm gonna take a bite, too. Whoa! Are you seeing this light right here? Ooh, looks like we've got boxes this time. I'm gonna take this one. No way! Look what was in mine! Cans of spray paint! I wonder what's in mine? I can't tell just by shaking. I'll open it. 
Wow! It's a whole box full of new colored pencils! I love them! Oh! Look! Another little box! What do you think's inside? I'll open it and find out! Huh. That's not what I expected. It's a gummy eyeball! So squishy! Okay, I'm gonna eat it because I'm hungry. Mmm. That's very tasty. And chewy. I love it! Wow. That was a really good snack. I wish I had even more to eat. Hey, look! We both get to use hands this time! All right. I've got my gloves and I'm ready to make some art. I'm gonna start with this blue color and make a splotch in the middle. Now I'll use this glass as a guide for the white paint. There. Now we've got a perfect blue circle. Next up, I need this plate. I'll put it face down on the paper. Time to break out the black spray paint now. Okay. I need a little black in the middle for a pupil, because it's an eye. I'm ready with my pencils and my one hand. Here I go. Time to draw an eye with my single hand. This is going pretty good so far. And I think I'm done! Ta-da! My happy little face is done! Whoa! How the heck did you do that? What? My cute little eye? Didn't it turn out fantastic? No way! The magic turned my picture into another gummy eyeball! Except it's a huge one! No way! What the heck? That's gigantic! Can I have it? Uh, no way. This belongs to me. Now excuse me. I need to eat my giant eyeball. <sighs> Man. Though I guess I didn't give her any of my cake. <laughs> Whoa! What's going on? What is this? Oh! Another one? They keep coming! 